With Huffman encoding, we were able to create an encoding of our given message in binary, and this binary encoding was hopefully less bits than would be the regular ASCII encoding. So now, how do I actually write this binary encoding to disk bit by bit? Well, the smallest unit in a computer is a byte, so I can only write and read a single byte at a time in the smallest form. So how can I kind of get around this to be able to do bitwise I.O.? Well, remember we start, let's say I'm trying to write to disk. So I want to write bit by bit to disk. In memory, I have something that I want to write. So this is my computer's memory. And I want to write bits. So normally with bitewise I.O., from my, computer, uh, from my program's memory, I would write bytes to the output stream. The output stream would store those bytes in a bitewise buffer, and then it would write to disk once that buffer is full. It turns out that I can actually do a small modification to this workflow and still be able to, uh, and then be able to use bitwise I.O. So instead of writing the bits to the output stream because the output stream needs bytes, I could write bits to my own bitwise buffer. So I can have a single byte, so this bitwise buffer could be one byte, that I write bit by bit into that single byte. And then once I've written eight bits, I can write that single byte that was the buffer to my output stream. Then once I write that single byte to my output stream, as normal, the output stream will write bytes to my output streams. I'm going to call it a bitewise buffer this time to distinguish it from our custom bitwise buffer that we have. And then, just like normal, it'll write these large chunks once the bitewise buffer is full to disk. So if we ignored this step, so if you just ignored that this bit to bitwise buffer step existed, memory one byte at a time to an output stream, which writes to a bitewise buffer, which writes to disk, that was our original bitewise I.O. workflow. Now all we've done is added this small segment here. We write bit by bit to a bitwise buffer, which is a single byte, and then once that bitwise buffer is full, we write it to our output stream just as if we were doing regular bitewise I.O. So that was for output. That was for writing to disk. What if I want to read from disk? Again, similarly, I have some file on disk. I can't read a single, or I don't want to read a single byte at a time, and I cannot read a single bit at a time. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to read a single byte at a time because that would be super slow. So instead, I read a large chunk from the disk to minimize how many disk reads I have to do. And I store those into a bitewise buffer. And yeah, so the the bitewise buffer is we typically have as four kilobytes. So I read four kilobytes from disk and store it in my bitewise buffer. Then from my bitewise buffer, bytes will go through to my input stream. And then from my input stream, a single byte, I'll read into a bitwise buffer this time. So my bitwise buffer is going to be just one byte large. And then that will go into my program's memory. So my program will read, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, this is one byte. Yeah. So this is bits will go into my program's memory. So my program will be reading bits at a time from this single byte bitwise buffer. So I have eight bits that I'll fill up 
and then I'll read bit by bit from this bitwise buffer. Once that bitwise buffer is empty, so I've read all eight bits, I read the next byte from my input stream. And then again, I can read bit by bit by bit by bit. The moment I've exhausted all of the bytes that were in my bitewise buffer, right, because I read one byte at a time to my bitwise buffer, and from here I read one bit at a time. Once I've exhausted all of the bytes here, I read the next big chunk from disk. So this is just like our bitewise IO. Uh, this is just like our bitewise reading workflow, but I've added this segment here. So instead of reading from disk into a bitewise buffer, from that buffer to my input stream, and from the input stream to my program, I've now added this bitwise buffer. My bitwise buffer will read a single byte at a time, and then my program will read one bit at a time from the bitwise buffer.